Okay, so going back into the Google Analytics dashboard, I'm gonna walk you through the key areas that you wanna look at when analyzing your website's traffic. So I'm gonna go into my account under Jordan and go into your carrier competition. So what'll happen is you'll pop up into your audience. If you wanna to get to know where they're coming from, you can check out demographics. I like to look at location, find out what's going on. I've targeted people in Canada, and this is something I'll get you to show you to do in my next blog post on Webmaster Tools. You can target which location you want to uh, get people coming to your website from. So, you know, I've done a pretty good job in getting quite a few people from Canada to my site. Uh, that's nice. You can also find out what city they're from, which is pretty cool to track. I'm trying to target people in my local city of Victoria, and I've done a better job over that uh, last few months of doing that. Behaviors, you know, you can get into new versus returning. This is a good stat to see, you know, if people are coming back to your site. Obviously, you want to see people coming back to your site. Technology, I don't really look too much into that. Uh, mobile is kind of nice to see what kind of people are visiting your site on a mobile device. Uh, I've got 79 people. I know i got to do a better job of getting my mobile site set up. Uh, other than that, I don't really check out too much there. Traffic sources, this is the big one that I focus on. So this breaks down a little nice little pie chart where people are coming from. So you can find out where your surf traffic, search traffic is coming from your referral traffic as well as any direct uh, campaigns as if you got any Google AdWords stuff going on but uh, I tend to focus mostly on the SEO stuff since that's what I'm trying to do is, is uh, help everybody with their SEO and my own websites SEO so what I find is people uh, where they what kind of search terms are they're landing on my website now this NP and then the how to rank your Google places page this is something weird uh, on some of my other Let's go back to on some of the other accounts I have set up. Let's say Pactel. When I go over to their traffic sources, they're gonna get this weird thing here not provided. And this is what this is. Anybody, if you're logged into a Google account and you're searching and you land on a website, that will not record in Google Analytics. So any keyword that brings up that is brought up here that's from people who are not logged into Google accounts it's something weird to do with I think the privacy or something of people who are logged into accounts but I've worked my way around that and I'm gonna sh uh, share with you a link at the bottom of this post on how to get it so that you can find out at least what page they land on so you can get an idea of what terms they might be searching so this not provided and then the page how to rank your Google Places page I guarantee you a lot of those people are just searching you know how to rank Google Places or Google Places page and the, so they're landing on that page and then the same thing with the how to get Google Places page or Yelp reviews chances are quite a few people are searching that and I just set this up a little while ago halfway through last month so I still get 57 people who I can't tell what page they showed up on um, and then I got 12 people showing up on my main page which is targeting anything to do with internet marketing and SEO in my city of Victoria BC like this right here or this is a separate blog post but you can go through and you can click on your view full report and find out exactly the search terms people are searching and you know like I said because I found that most of you who are coming to the site are fairly new because of the search terms you're searching I decided hey why not do a blog post geared towards beginner really basic stuff and tools that you need to improve and analyze your online marketing abilities because there's no sense in wasting your time doing something that's no good so you gotta at least find a way to track it and that's why I like this Google Analytics. Uh, the other thing you can look at too while you're into the uh, traffic sources your referrals so I got a lot of backlinks out there for this website facebook.com which is interesting I do no marketing on Facebook yet I still have you know a few people visiting the site Peerless Golf is a site that I own. Corey Renfrew is a website I set up for a friend of mine who's a golfer. Uh, Google Plus, I get a few people from there, and you can kind of just track, you know, what how many pages they're visiting, uh, their visit visit duration, how many percent of these people are new visits. So a lot of the Google Plus people clicking on my site have been here already, so that's kind of neat. Uh, creative. Gorilla Marketing, I did a blog post for them on there and uh, I've done a couple guest comments uh, or comments on Screw the 9 to 5, but you get the idea, you can see where your referral traffic is coming from. T.co is Twitter, so you can check out if your social media is working. Uh, that's what I tend to focus on with the traffic sources. Content, content's kind of nice, so you can see what pages people are visiting. And then when you go into the full report, you can view. Uh, exactly how many people were visited that page how many times it was viewed 
and then also the average time spent on that page which is kind of nice so since a lot of my pages are set up as blog posts my average time on page is going to be higher because it takes people longer to read them or watch videos like this so it helps keep people on your site obviously to do things like that you know whereas a contact page yeah people are just going to check out that for 40 seconds and then be gone right but it's cool just to see where these people are going and what you can also do is you can set up goals or conversions so let's say if you want people to land on a specific page of yours, you can set that up. So uh, goal comparisons, you know, what you want to do is go in and set up, uh, let's say, yeah, yeah, let's go to overview. Bear with me here. It's been a while since I set one of these up. I don't even have one set up for me. I'll right, go actually to... Uh, Another account I have set up, my friends at Victoria Transmission, I have a conversion set up for them. Yeah, so anytime anybody goes onto their online booking, I look at that as a goal because that's pretty much a sign that you know these people are wanting to sign up for their services and book and get their cars in there. So it's just a nice way to get people going to your money page, whatever your sales page is. So if people are Victrans, you know, anytime we get somebody going to their online appointment booking page that's a goal and a bit of a conversion so you can see over the course of the last month we've had 34 people visit that page which is kinda cool um, but yeah that's pretty much the basics of Google Analytics you know I try not to get too overly involved in this because you can spend way too much time trying to overanalyze things but those are just the areas I focus on so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got the most out of this Google Analytics um, overview and uh, I hope you come back and check out my other nine parts of this blog series on uh, the best free internet marketing tools out there.